Apple's new password manager claims to provide users with a secure place to store their sensitive data. But is this free solution really enough for something as precious as your entire password collection? How does the app and security compare next to other top industry leaders? Today, we'll answer all of these questions and more as I thoroughly examine the Apple Password Manager. This app was officially launched in the middle of 2024 and is available to download on iOS 18, Mac OS Sequoia, and Vision OS 2. Also, all devices must be updated to the latest software version to work. Now, this password manager for Apple users provides a place to store all important information, including passwords, passkeys, and verification codes alike. To access the app, you can either search for passwords under the settings or simply open the app from the launch pad on your MacBook. Keep in mind, if you have autofill enabled when signing into apps and websites, then your passwords will automatically appear right in the passwords app. The most crucial question weighing on my mind though is just how strong is Apple Password Manager security? Well, the app works by automatically generating cryptographically strong random strings of characters and symbols to use as passwords in the Safari browser. Furthermore, iOS, iPadOS, and VisionOS are able to create strong passwords for other applications as well. So whether you need a strong password for your social media, banking, email, or Uber app, it's very straightforward to do right in passwords. Once you create any new password, it instantly gets saved in the Apple iCloud keychain and then automatically syncs with all your other devices. Now, with all those passwords being transferred from device to device, it's normal to wonder just how secure this is. Well, all that data is encrypted using AES-256 on your device, and only then does it go through Apple's secure servers for syncing. This company also utilizes AES-256 encryption, which is a strong option we frequently see used by industry-leading VPNs. Just so you understand how strong the security is, let's compare it to a couple other industry-leading providers. For example, when it comes to Apple passwords versus 1Password, both utilize the exact same zero-knowledge architecture and encryption algorithm. NordPass, one of the most secure password managers on the market, also has end-to-end -end encryption. However, its algorithm, XCHACHA20, is an even stronger option. Now, so far my Apple password manager is pretty positive, but there is room for improvement. I found the iCloud keychain security measures to be really lacking, considering that zero independent audits have been performed to verify the security of the app. This is an absolutely crucial step for building trust between the company and users, and other top-rated apps like NordPass are aware of that and have the SOC 2 certification. Again, when comparing iCloud Keychain versus 1Password, we see that the latter has a particularly long list of various audits completed. Hopefully, we'll see a lot of improvement in those weak areas soon, but putting that aside, how is the reputation of Apple Password Manager in general? Well, one thing worth noting is that a few years back, a security researcher claimed to have found a macOS Mojave exploit, making it possible to access passwords stored in Keychain. For perspective, to this day, 1Password and NordPass have never been compromised or experienced a breach. Since I consider both of these providers to be some of the best password managers on the market, I'll be leaving discount codes for both of them, which you can access via the QR codes on screen or link in the description. All right, now that we've thoroughly covered the security portion of this Apple Password Manager comparison, let's move on to the features and ease of use. Obviously, the main function of this app is to store your passwords, which you can do manually without too much trouble. And there's even an option to add a short note. Importing them from other sources, on the other hand, isn't so simple. This can only be done via a Mac OS device, and even then it's a bit complicated since you first need to save it as a CSV file. Once you've got them all stored and imported though, the app itself organizes them really neatly. There's a category for Wi-Fi passwords, passkeys, and any codes that aren't related to a website or service. The Apple Password Manager also includes a helpful security section, which notifies you if any weak, reused, or compromised passwords are found. This allows you to change them before any potential problems occur, and you can hide alerts as well. And if you ever need to access deleted passwords for any reason, there's even a section for that. The only other feature available is the shared groups, which, as the name suggests, allows you to create a group with other Apple users and share specific passwords securely. So overall, passwords is certainly better than, say, storing your sensitive information in your notes app. However, with all the other robust password managers on the market that come stocked with tons of protective features, this app looks pretty basic and limited by comparison. Some of the best password managers that I've seen in the industry have raised the bar pretty high and include super secure features like dark web monitoring, which scans the dark web to see if your personal data has been leaked. 
And some providers like NordPass have taken it even further by including features like letting you mask your email address or advanced OCR scanning that checks everything from images and documents to cards and files. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit like and subscribe because I make new content like this every week. So I'll sum up this Apple Passwords app review by saying that this option is definitely a more simple and basic solution. Now, there's really nothing wrong with it. However, if you guys are like me, then in 2025, that just isn't gonna cut it. If you need more from your password manager when it comes to security and functionality, or if you're using a different operating system than Apple, I suggest you to check out our alternatives in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.